Welcome Libra and Crosswalkers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, this is for the collective. Libra, okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Interesting. Under the deck here is unrequited love, which says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And then we have deception and romantic feelings. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and they are worth exploring. This immediately makes me feel like there's three people, at the, at the very least three people involved, maybe more. Um, I honestly feel like there's somebody who does have feelings for you who does not have feelings for the third party, the other person. But they're lying to themselves and to this partner and maybe even to you and saying, well, I love them or whatever. But that's not actually true. This person does have feelings for you and does want to explore the connection with you. And again, place it how it resonates. I mean, whether you're the third party or you're the partner or you're this person who's going back. There's something about somebody not being honest about what they really feel. They're not satisfied in a relationship. They're lying to themselves. It's about appearances. They're wearing a mask. Okay, that's interesting. This could be kind of specific this week. So if this is not your uh, reading, don't try to force it to fit. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Okay. Um, please check your other placements as well. Your moon, rising, Venus signs, especially when it comes to love, can be really insightful. All right, so let us see here. We're going to start with how you view this connection. How does Libra view this connection? What do you think? How do you view the situation? Okay. Five of Cups with the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you miss this person. You're not with them. Things were unbalanced. They were holding back. You're trying to release it and let it go. But, you know, not much you can really do. I mean, if this person's not, if they're refusing to leave a third party, if they're refusing to make a chain or a choice, um, so it's like you're holding back from this person. And you don't know how to approach the situation. Things were definitely really unbalanced between you in the past. Okay. Uh, look under the deck. The Three of Swords. Heartache. Pain. Mm -hmm. And so how does your person view the situation? Seven of Wands. And Ace of Pentacles. Well, they're trying to block this out and renew or fix something with a third party. That's what they're trying to do. It's like they're trying to put up a guard. They may have blocked you or gone kind of ghosted you or went quiet on you. And they're trying to rekindle things or start things up again with this third party. King of Wands. And I mean, I'll be honest, there could be some kind of physical attraction to this person or desire for this person. But they don't love them. That's the thing. That that's, There's... there's there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. They don't really love this person. And obviously that's really toxic because you see that. You miss this person, but they were give, they were refusing to release somebody. Now they're working on things with them and guarded against you. Now some of you, that may not matter because maybe you've already moved on and met someone else and are living your best life and doing you. Because again, time is fluid. So when you view this reading, whenever you're intuitively drawn to it, um, you know, I do put a specific date up here somewhere, but um, again, that's the energy that I'm shooting for. However, again, this is general collective reading. Time is fluid, which means that you could view this and it has already happened to you in the past. It could be happening to you right here, right now in the present. It could be happening to you in the future. You might come to this reading two years from now and it resonates with exactly what's happening to you, okay? Um, yeah, it's like you do, you might have moved on. You might have met someone else and been, been doing you. Yeah, there's potential for new love here. As I was talking, Ace of Cups. You might have met someone, but there is a part of you who still, does still think about this person. All right, how do you feel about this person? What do you feel? Knight of Swords. Heart, heart, broken, heartache, betrayal. This person, it happened so quickly. They walked away so quickly, like as if it didn't matter to them, like they didn't care. They're, you know, doing their own thing. You might see them, like, buying a home with someone, moving in with someone, starting a family with them, getting married, you know, um, taking the next step, dating, um, pictures of them meeting their family, whatever it is. And you're just sitting here, like, how did you walk away from us so quickly? Didn't what we had mean more to you than this? 
So you have all these unanswered questions in regard to this person in this situation. How do they feel? Well, they're not over you, if that's what you're wanting to know. This person is trying to like start something new and just kind of like erase you. It, problem is, though, they're having more difficulty doing that than they realize that they would. You know, they're trying to stay busy and, you know, convince themselves that they're happy. And in some ways, I'm not saying that their relationship is all bad, but they're not really as happy as they try to make it out that they are. Yeah, and that's a difficult truth. You guys know I'm, I'm always going to shoot it to you straight. I'm going to be honest with you. Good, bad, ugly, whatever needs to come through, we're going to talk about it. But I always hope that I'm able to deliver these messages in a compassionate and empathetic way. Because it is challenging and it is really hard. You do you deserve to know the truth. You can't make any changes, choices, decisions without knowing the truth. Um, this person could be a Scorpio. It definitely could be or Aries Leo Sag. I also have air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but this person, they're trying to their best to move on. They're trying to kind of start something new and kind of walk away and detach from you. But they're lying to themselves and everyone else. What are your, What do you feel like needs to happen here? What do you feel like needs to happen? Queen of Cups, Two of Swords. Well, I think you have to decide to put yourself first. I feel like for you, I feel like for you guys... There's somebody who wants your attention. It's a new person. This is a new person that wants your attention. And you do like them. It's not that you don't like them. But it's like you're still kind of hung up on somebody else. There's somebody who, whether they've started pursuing you already or they will be pursuing you, that definitely has interest in you. But it's like you like them, but you can't You can't just force yourself to get over someone. It's just, I wish it worked that way, right? Where you could just snap your fingers, turn off your feelings, and move on. But you still have feelings for this person. And you're so disappointed with how things have turned out. Now, there is this opportunity for new love. Somebody who's really genuinely interested and wants your affection, wants your attention. And you want to give them your heart because you know that this is somebody that you can trust. This is somebody who's kind and gentle and generous. And, you know, somebody who has the qualities that you're looking for. But the problem is they're just not this other person. Um, and so you're trying to make a choice and trying to heal your heart and try to focus on yourself here. What are this other person's, what is this person's intentions? What is this past person's intentions? Okay, well, they see you, like, living your best life, and they want to come in. They're, like, waiting for this opportunity. They, okay, I honestly think that this person really expected you to chase them. Baby, please don't go. I miss you. You're the only one for me. I love you. Don't leave. Choose me. They want you to fight for them. The problem is, even if you fought for this person, I don't think that would change. Only, only thing would do is stroke their ego. They would keep the situation the same. That's what you need to know. And I think that deep down, you know, you are a very intuitive person, um, Cancer Pisces energy here. This person sees how strong you are, you know, how capable, and they're kind of just waiting to see what you're going to do. If you're going to reach out. Some of you, this could be same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. Um, let's see. All right. What is the outcome here between you and this person? Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Well, they're going to come back in and try to offer something to you. The problem is, like, they're trying to make promises of, like, more stability, trying to make promises of, like, more commitment, you know, of taking the next step. However, it will quickly result back to how it was before. They're very passionate about you. Sorry about that. They know what you are looking for, and that's what they're trying to make promises for. You know, I know that you want more stability, baby. I want to give you that. You know, I've been thinking about you constantly. I want to travel to you. I want to prove I'm serious about you. But they're still with this other party. It's like they're going back between you and her or you and him. They're, they're going to get more feminine energy. So they're between, between the two of you. They have one person at home that they're committed to and one person, you know, that they have this deep passion for. It's like, I'm going to come see you. So that, see, this man is like loaded up in his boat. He has like left the Queen of Pentacles at home and he is heading toward that Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is the most attractive queen in the deck. This person is very drawn to you, but you're going to feel left out in the cold. You're going to feel disappointed, rejected. That's the truth. This person, you can't trust them. And again, you have free will. And like I said, each of your situations might be a little bit different. Because again, this is a general reading. And there's a large collective of you. I mean, for some of you, this could resonate for 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people. Or potentially even more. So take it how it resonates, leave it does not. I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust who will tell you the truth. But this person, they still want you. But they're not being fully honest with themselves. They do have feelings for you. 
But I think some of you have already met someone or will be meeting someone very soon who is going to take a lot of interest in you. And you can tell like immediately this person is so genuine and sincere. Like you can really trust this person. The problem is it's like hard to kind of turn off your feelings for this past person and really just embrace new, you know. Um, so Master, you've learned the spiritual lesson. You've learned what you needed to learn in that past relationship. Second chance. This is, the relationship deserves a second chance. That's what they're saying. They're saying, please just give me a chance. You know, I don't want to lose you. Don't you think we deserve that? You know, let's try it again. And it's going to be very tempting. And again, I can't tell you what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do. It's one of the reasons I'm kind of iffy about keeping comments on. Because, you know, um, I really just... It, Nothing really grinds my gears, like people telling other people what they should do with their life. You don't know their circumstances. You don't know their situation. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'll tell you what I see. If you choose to pursue this person or not, um, I feel like you'll be very disappointed. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Again, there's somebody who's coming in who you're going to begin to kind of see in a different light. Yeah, you and this person don't share the same vision, different pages. But there's somebody else who's going to come and you might try to keep them as a friend or kind of casual, you know, just kind of getting to know them. Somebody who definitely has a lot of interest in you. The problem is you're so hung up on like the, the connection that you share with this past person. But this new person, it's gonna, they're going to go slow with it. And this person's going to, you know, definitely want something more with you. Um, there's going to be somebody asking, you're going to have two choices. There's somebody asking for a second chance who may or may not deserve it. There's somebody new here who's very patient who wants to get to know you, but they're, they know that you have to heal first. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.